Degrassi's legacy as a driver is fantastic. I don't know if I've met a smarter racing driver. Luke Stress is known to be the most successful driver in Formula E history. Degrassi's been Mr. Formula E. I don't think any driver's bigger than the sport, but I think there have been certain characters that have been integral. I think Lucas Degrassi is undoubtedly one of those characters. I left Brazil to try my luck as a, as a professional racing driver in Formula 3. I wanted to succeed. I wanted to make a career out of racing, and I took a risk. And I went to live in the countryside of Oxford, different food, different weather. And then I was like, OK, one more year, one more, one more, one more. And then it's been 20 years. You have to have so much hunger to be so certain of what you want that when you jump in the car, that little extra makes a difference, I think. Degrassi's on his push lap. He's joined Mahindra for this year. This is a consistent good results. That's the target. Podiums and uh, maybe a win. There's another lockup. It's done for Dennis. Lucas Degrassi across wow. the line. And in his first race for Mahindra, takes pole That's position in Mexico City. Lucas Degrassi is back. <laughs> pole position, mate. Pole position. Top job, mate. Come on! <laughs> Love you, my friend. <laughs> not bad. For the first race together, not bad. I find Lucas Degrassi the most fascinating character in the paddock. He has an incredible mind. He's a member of Mensa, very, very intelligent. What the f happened there? <laughs> Good job, man. <laughs> Good points and the trophy. He brings a lot of competitiveness. He's borderline. I don't want to use the word dirty, but he does what it takes to, to win. Oh, he hit, yeah, him. hit him! I don't believe it! The two championship contenders out at turn one! Lucas is a mix of uh, many different things. A driver, he's like a philosopher, he's like an engineer, a scientist, all in one. Lucas was the first driver to try the Gen 1 car. Exciting, no? This is the glamour of Formula E testing. Having Lucas involved, having Lucas backing us, gave a lot of credibility to the project. You couldn't beat round one, season one, in China. There were like 20 doubts. There were doubts about the car, the battery, the software, the track. The cars are all lined up. The lights are coming on. And for the first time, we go green in Beijing. And it's a very good start from Nico Frost by the looks of things. That was third the whole race. And then at the very last corner of the last lap. Heidfeld goes to the inside line, <laughs> and they make contact. They're both off. And that's an accident for Nick Heidfeld. Nick Heidfeld tumbling through the air. That crash went viral all over the world, and suddenly people knew what Formula E was. And giving the race victory to uh, Lucas Degrassi, was it? Lucas Degrassi is going to take victory in the FIA Formula E race here in Beijing. It was like almost fate, right? It was almost like, OK, it, it meant to be. I'm very glad that Heidfeld is OK. Nobody wants to win this way, but it feels great to be the first winner in Formula E. The biggest jump was from zero to one, from non-existing to racing. But Gen 3 had the same feeling. We were really introducing so many changes, so many new technologies, so many uh, new things in the car, all at the same time, that people were worried. On pole position for the dawn of a new era, it's the man who won the first ever Formula E race. It's Lucas Degrassi. 
you know what he's going to do next door to you? It's the first six laps for him, unfortunately. I agree, game. All five lights are on! We are 2% down on Verline. That is not a good sight. Oh, Degrassi's got him really deep. He's going to be under an awful lot of pressure. Degrassi is still fighting the fight and holding on. And he's wide, he's wide, he's wide. Is that the chance for Hughes? No. This is remarkable stuff. Textbook defending. Third is going to be Degrassi. He comes out the final corner now and takes the checkered flag. Great job, team. Great job. What's the best we could do today? Mexico, it could look like the perfect story. It is what you could dream of, uh, starting with a pole position and being P3, because it was a great team effort. We were very happy, and me included, 100%. I think it was a very nice present to start like this. I said thank you to Lucas and all the team so many times. But on the other side, I wanted them to keep the idea that this must not be an exception in the season. To do pole position and podium in the first race was great, but since then we had a, a mixture of bad luck and bad performance. Yeah, what was that start, man? Somebody crashing my back. Check of flag, P60. Lucas, he's been challenging. He's a champion. He's been challenging since the very first race. This season has been that, that, that first one. It's just it's been tough to watch. It will be tough for him to swallow that he was not able, through sort of sheer hard work, to make more of an improvement. That's his problem. I think it's great that Formula E has finally come to India. And certainly, there's a huge amount of expectation and pressure, I think, on Mahindra. Mahindra! Uh, this weekend is the home race, so for sure for us, it's pole position victory, and, uh, and, and we don't even know which car we choose. But um, realistically, scoring good points would be the good, good result for us. This race in Hyderabad alone is probably more important to them than the entire championship. By the time of Hyderabad, I think it was clear to them that it was going to be a long season. Roland up to fifth now for Mahindra. We're under investigation for track limits. Why, why are you only telling me when I've got three warnings? What a load of That's your fault if I get done, man. You didn't tell me. Black and white flag for track limits. Oh, where? T1, T2. There's a Mahindra at their home race, lurking in fourth position with Oliver Rowland. OK, we have a five-second penalty. Get Lucas to make the gap. We have a five-second penalty. No way, I was so careful. It's impossible I had a penalty. I didn't cross the line. It's so f***ing unfair. It's so f***ing unfair. Lucas, help Ollie. Ollie needs a five second gap. Final lap. Okay, that's the checkered flag, mate. That was a fantastic drive. Well done. P7 at the moment on the timing screen. Did Lucas make the gap? Yeah, there was a big gap by the end of the race. To Lucas, thank you. Lucas Degrassi was the ultimate team player, and he used all of his knowledge, all of his prowess in Formula E racing to allow his teammate and the team to leave Hyderabad with some well-needed points in a home race. Despite what Oliver achieved and Mendra achieved in Hyderabad, it was clear it wasn't a particularly happy camp. I had the pace to win that race easy, man. I mean, I don't know what these guys did with the power train on him. Bullsh It's undrivable. You stopped, Lucas, you stopped. I had a suspension rear end failure. Cape, I didn't do anything wrong as a driver. It became pretty clear pretty quickly that the Mahindra had a, an issue, a serious issue. And this was the construction of the, the, the wishbones of the car. 
It's very rare that you get racing cars at world championship level withdrawn from races. You can count on one hand how many times it's happened before. Very, very rare that a car is deemed unsafe to, to race. It was the first race in Formula E that he was ever going to miss. So that perfect record was no longer. If I would have had a winning car, and it was my mistake that I crashed in qualifying, and that's why we could not start, I would be much harder on myself. I don't, I did everything I could. Lucas Degrassi finally got his homecoming, his first home race in Sao Paulo. He has been behind the scenes working at this for months and years to make this happen. Very, very excited to be racing here for my family friends. He was just been pulled from pillar to post. Be busy, man. Crazy. What I noticed was that his energy wasn't quite the same, and that was reflected in qualifying. Push mode, push mode, track is clear. I touched the wall. Let's check what we got, let's check what we got. Get him in, wheels off. Session over, Lucas, we sheared a bolt. It was the first time that Lucas had raced on home turf. He'd always desired this opportunity to showcase what he does not just racing, but all the other stuff that Lucas loves about Fort Marie. Devastatingly, it didn't go to plan, and Lucas had to start from the back of the grid. Has the championship outgrown Lucas Degrassi? Well, that's a good question. I think without a Degrassi in the championship, it wouldn't necessarily have the impact that it has had. We're not going to fight for the championship. I think what we can do is to do good points every race. That's the target. That winning feeling is the best. But you have to understand that uh, it's not always possible. It's a lot of um, pressure, I think. I feel like maybe putting a lot of pressure on, on him. I think we'll look back at Lucas as one of the proper founding fathers, proper legends. We never give up. We're going to fight until the very last lap to try to score some points and give a good show. He's had a great career in Formula E as well. You know, look at his success over the years. I wouldn't be putting any money against Lucas in the right car at the right time, still getting success in Formula E. Good luck and enjoy. And we go green in Sao Paulo! Even though he's more at the end of his driving career, I see him actually being a big, if not a bigger part of Formula E. You know, it could be the CEO, it could be as an ambassador, it could be as a team principal. He's capable of doing probably all those things in time. He believes in the core values of what Formula E is all about. Checkered flag, checkered flag, P30. Yeah, we did what we could. It's almost immeasurable, actually, what he's brought. There's not much that he hasn't achieved. He probably doesn't still need to be doing it, but he's doing it because he loves it. But he'll be one of these drivers that will really find it hard to let go.
course I want to win, of course I want to be champion again. Still have many years in front of me. That's the target. You always want to achieve more, right? Uh, you always want to, uh, to win more races. The, 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 the best race is always the next one.